Liquid Hourglasses. I reviewed many of them on YouTube as what started off as just an interesting, cheap novelty I found, though it turned into this fascination with many people, including myself. I asked myself the other day, where did the idea come from, these interesting, sensory-pleasing mixtures of oil and water? Well, I researched and I didn't find much, but hourglasses in general have been found since the 8th century. So let's take a look at this one. How's it going guys? Welcome back to another JHR review. And today we have something really interesting. We have another liquid hourglass and this one has an actual logo on it. And it's not on the outside, it's actually on the inside. Not only that, but this liquid hourglass is different than the other ones. It has a similar function as this one is a flat style hourglass if we turn it to the side right here. But this one has two different colors in it, and they've decided to include glitter in this one. So this one actually has glitter inside of it. As you can see right here, we have a bunch of uh, different colors going on. So we have a very light pink and a very light yellow. It's kind of hard to distinguish them because the oils, once they kind of spread out a little bit, they're a little bit less distinguished in color. But as you can see, there's glitter floating around in the water. Do you see that? All around this area right there, which is really neat. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my LEDs and see how it looks. And you can really see in there that glitter is just like really sparkling and it really gives like, rather than it kind of being an empty void where the oil kind of falls down, you get all of these nice little sparkles kind of making the entire thing kind of like a really nice thing to look at. It's kind of like a really nice mix of pastel colors. Uh, it's easier to see it in real life, but it's kind of harder to see it on camera. It's very interesting though. And I really like the flat style. If you look at it from the side, you can still see them coming down but kind of as uh, little kind of discs, as you can see. It's very interesting. This is a very satisfactory kind of little desk toy. It does look like this one has a little bubble trapped at the top, but that's actually just kind of interesting in itself. You ever been in the shampoo aisle as a kid? and turn the see-through shampoo bottles upside down and watch the bubbles go to the other side. I love doing that as a kid. All right, let's go ahead and uh, turn this upside down again, but let's go ahead and grab my phone flashlight and see if we can get some light to come through it. There we go. Ooh, look at that. It's kind of just like glowing center right there, so it's nice and symmetrical. Look at that. You can actually see the pink right there when it hits the bottom now and the difference between the yellows. Let's go ahead and turn it to the side and see if we can get any cool effect there. Wow, look at that. The color differentiation is so much more intense at the bottom reservoir. That is so cool. Let's go ahead and flip it and then zoom in a little bit. Because of the light going through, and how many times we flipped it upside down. Up here you can actually see the bubbles forming with inside of the oils. And this is just oil and water, different colors of oil going through this water and it's just so nice. And look at the effect it gives on your hands when it's in there. You actually can see the little oils casting shadows as they move down on my hands. That is so neat. It's really interesting the engineering that goes into these things. All of the uh, work that goes into making all these different hourglasses. I've been periodically looking, trying to find more, and this one might not be functionally different, but the way that they added things in here is very neat. And I really like how they sandwiched the ice cream logo in there. There's actually a reflection of the logo on the back of the glass from the inside because they did that. 
Let's flip it a few more times. I'm really, really enjoying this one. Another cool thing is once you flip it up and down enough times, if you zoom in here on the oil droplets, once you do it enough times, the actual little oil droplets get a lot smaller because the oil starts separating. So by the time you're done messing with it, it actually has a much different effect than it would normally. We're almost to the end. Let's flip it one more time. Look at that. You actually can see the glitter mixed in at the top right here too. You know, going back to this, I have a really big appreciation for these and appreciation for you guys because a lot of the stuff I never would have picked up that I never would have reviewed um, if it wasn't for the channel and for your guys' interest. So I have a lot of these things laying around and sometimes it's just fun to just turn them upside down and I don't know, it's a little bit nostalgic. It's like a adult form of nostalgia especially because it's a form of progress that I've made and I've made with you guys. This is kind of a staple in my channel when I first started these liquid hourglasses. And I think this might be my fifth or sixth one. And uh, I'm just really happy that I'm still able to find a few new ones to be able to show you guys. If you guys are interested in my other hourglass videos, if you go to my main YouTube page, don't forget to uh -uh, subscribe, but I have a playlist that I made of all my previous liquid hourglasses if you scroll down. So feel free to look at all of those as well. But yeah, I really like this one and the glitter is a really nice effect to give kind of that void of kind of nothingness in the background, this nice kind of shiny glittery color. What do you guys think? Do you think that the accent of the glitter is something that has made this, I don't know, an improvement? Or would you say you liked just the oil in here, just seeing the droplets? I don't know about the ones that zigzag, but I do know that this one right here, I feel like it complements it, but it could be just be me. Let me know what you guys think. I think it'd be really nice to get different colored LEDs or maybe like an RGB and let it kind of move through the colors because then they would all change to that specific color that the RGB would be on. Unfortunately, I don't have anything like that. But uh, if I do find something, maybe we could do an RGB version of the um, video with all the different hourglasses. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. A huge shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for your support. You guys are awesome. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Liking the video helps tremendously, especially with YouTube's algorithm. And yeah, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.